any type of housing insecurity is eligible for some resources. We need to make sure that we're eliminating educational barriers for our students so that they can continue coming to school every single day. Over the years, we have um, acknowledged the importance of starting out early. And so we partner up with um, our early um, education program and they also have um, implemented a lot of the identification process that we use in the TK through 12 grades. So what is um, Makinivento? So it's any student or family that's living in a hotel or motel uh, that is doubled up, that means that there is more than two families living together in one household. And this is due to economic hardship um, that's living in a car um, any condemned building, so any building that's lacking electricity, gas, water, or in a shelter or housing agency. Now the shelters that we're talking about is domestic violence shelters, um, as well as transition on sh uh, shelters. Um, so this is some data that I wanted to share with you uh, regarding our McKinney Venture students. Um, the previous year, we had a total of 688 students already identified. This year, we have 1,047 students. So as you can see, um, the need is greater. There are a lot more students experiencing homelessness uh, within our community. Um, I do feel that this is due to COVID. Um, these are the effects of COVID. The pandemic, a lot of people are, have lost their jobs. Um, it's also uh, rents. Rents are really, really high and expensive, so a lot of our families are not able to afford uh, or even qualify for an apartment um, sometimes. Um, and actually, out of those 1,047, um, 70 are in preschool at this moment right now. Um, these are some of the categories. Um, if you can see, most of the students that have been identified as Makini Vento are doubled up. These are families that are coming together um, because they're losing housing, so they have to um, live together so that they can afford an apartment. Um, there's 734 right now that have been identified as doubled up, and last year it was only 462. I do speculate those numbers to continue increasing over the years. Um, and it's just because of infl you know, inflation and everything that is happening. Um, what are some of the rights that our students have? According to the McKinney Vento, our students have the right for immediate school enrollment. So if a family comes to a school and they say that they are currently sleeping in their car, they're staying in a hotel, the school, even without documentation, has to enroll that child and give them 30 days to come up with all that documentation. That's what immediate enrollment means. Um, they are entitled to free school meals, getting help with school supplies and other needs. Uh, we do have additional support for unaccompanied youth. These are students that are by themselves. We see this um, happening mostly in the high schools. Um, this also includes runaways, and then connecting them to our early academic programs or after school programs. And then our program, our McKinney Vento program right here in Hacienda La Puente is composed of three areas. Uh, we, uh, number one is increased identification. We also want to increase educational outcomes and then just expand our collaboration and coordination with other schools and with our schools and outside agencies. Now, what does increased identification mean? So it all starts with the ACEHQ. That's what we call it here in Casino La Puente. This is the student housing questionnaire. It is part of the enrollment pro, uh, process. Every parent needs to fill one out at the beginning of the year. Um, they actually also um, can do it online and it's available in multiple uh, languages. And we have something that we came up with in our department, we call it the SHQ campaign. So it begins in the summer when we send out letters to every 
already previously identified Latin Eventual student, letting them know they need to re-enroll in our program if they're still living under the same circumstances. We do phone banking, we do letters, we do flyers, we do everything as possible to make sure that we're identifying our students and supporting them through their educational journey. These are some of the resources that we offer in our department. Um, we do offer transportation. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is as part of the McKinney Vento um, Act, students are entitled to claim school of origin, which means that if a student um, was enrolled in our district, but due to their living situation, they have to move outside of our school district, they say they have to move to West Covina, Baldwin Park, Bassett, they have the right to claim school of origin and remain within our district. We have to provide transportation for them. And then this um, is to make sure that we have, the, our students have um, school stability. We also offer uniforms and shoes. We have um, a special event at the beginning of the year, which is called the uh, Operation Student Success, where we do provide them with everything they need for the new coming year. I actually do referrals to housing agencies for my um, parents. Um, and not just housing, we do mental health. We actually also do food banks. Whatever resource is needed, we make sure that we provide. If we don't have it within our district, we always refer our families out to uh, outside agencies. Uh, we have hygiene products in our facility. We have backpacks. Um, we have laundry detergent because we know that if a child has no access to clean clothes, they're not gonna come to school. So we wanna make sure they're coming to school every single day. Uh, we have collaboration with local food pantries. Uh, we do um, school supplies, backpacks. And then we added this new um, program, which is called the LA, LA Laundry Truck. And basically they come to um, our table center, which is one of our adult schools. Um, it's a mobile laundry truck. And our families come every Monday, they drop off their laundry in the morning and then they pick it up in the afternoon. We have limited the access to our families that are living in motels, that live in cars, uh, that live in garages, or that have no access to a washer or dryer. Um, it's been successful in the past. We've had families that have moved to different districts and they want to still come to use our laundry trucks. Um, but the families enjoy it and they find it very useful. And then we also have additional resources. We provide vouchers for birth certificates, uh, for California IDs, and then also I provide my families with letters of verification, which are sometimes needed for other programs. And then just rental reminders, and this is mostly for our partners working in the early academic program. They can always refer their students over to me, um, their families over to me for resources. Just please make sure that you have an SHG on file and that when you do refer them, you send me an email with the ESHQ and just like a quick summary of some of the resources that are needed and required. Um, and then all this leads to successful uh, graduation rates. So for my program, which is the Homeless Education Program, we have a 100% uh, percent graduation rate. Um, last year, 61 of our seniors graduated. Um, they, this includes actually the summer school graduation as well. Um, some of the students had to attend summer school to make up some of those credits, but they did graduate and so we're very proud of them. And then 
This is the event that we held yet last year in July, uh, where we provided haircut vouchers, we provided dental screenings, the screenings, we provided uh, backpacks, uh, shoes, anything that was needed for the child to um, start the school year. Now, only McKinney Venture students were invited to this event, um, but and, um, actually Monica was actually part of that too. We invited some of our um, preschoolers uh, to attend the event. And then, oh, we have a little video, but I don't think it's gonna play. Okay, so that's it for me. Do we have any questions regarding my McKinney Venture program? I, I call it mine, but it's our McKinney Venture program.